Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This tutorial is about plain stress strain problem analysis in Abacus. And the specific problem is deflection of a 2D cantilever beam. So that is the problem description. A cantilever beam shown in the figure carries a concentrated force P of 1000 Newton. So a load of 1000 Newton is applied at free end. The beam material is steel with Young's modulus of elasticity 200,000 megapascal and a Poisson's ratio of 0.3. The dimensions of the beam are shown as the figure are as length is 60 millimeter, then half width is 10 millimeter, and the thickness is 5 millimeter. So these are the uh, proper mechanical properties and dimensions required for the beam. So required is plot vertical deflection along the length of the beam for different triangular three node and six node and quadrilateral four node and eight node element shapes for plane stress and plane strain. Compare results of different element shapes and element types. So there are two objectives for this tutorial. So that is the problem description. Now, here are the steps to perform analysis in Abacus. The first is modeling, then analysis, and then results. So these are the three steps there. And here I am using Abacus 2020 CAE version. And I'll show here step by step how to perform that analysis. So before modeling, you need to check that you are using consistent set of units newton meter pascal or pound inch psi or newton millimeter mega pascal or newton per millimeter square in this problem the dimensions are in millimeters so because the dimensions are in millimeters so then we will use set of units which is millimeter newton and mega pascal so third set of units that is being used here. Next step before modeling it is set work directory. I want to save that all data in this folder chapter 9 and this I have copied link and then file set work directory and here I am going to set it. So the work directory is being set. So so the first step in modeling part is create part and that is 2D deformable shell. So it's 2D deformable shell and in Abacus you can go here double click on part and I am naming it beam 2D deformable shell and approximate size that is a double almost double of that so maximum dimension is length 60 centimeter so i am going let's say for 150 okay so then i need to draw that here length of beam is 60 and width is 20 so then here it can be easily drawn using connected uh, lines or a triangle so i'm using that triangle so then from here 60 and 20 so that is 60 and 20 and let me add dimensions to that so now length is 60 and the width is 20 so cancel procedure and that is done so part is created next step is to uh, on the part create partition phase to plot deflection along neutral axis so for that purpose, in the part module, here are partition, but the partition of the face is required here. So you can use that partition tools or in the tools partition, partition face, and use shortest distance between two points. Okay. And
the shortest distance between two points so this is a one point and that is a second point and create partition so that is a partition created next step is in the property module create material and mechanical elastic so for that one here in the property module create material that is steel mechanical elasticity and elastic so 200000 megapascal is modulus of elasticity that is 200000 megapascal given so I am using here Newton millimeters, so modulus of elasticity must be in megapascal. So that material is being created. Next step is in the property module create section and then assign section. So for that one in the property module that is a create section is a solid homogeneous continue and steel and plane stress strain thickness that is a five millimeters. So again, I'm using Newton millimeter and megapascal, so five millimeter. So here you can see that the section has been created. Once the section has been created, then section assignment. So for section assignment, need to select that one and that section is being assigned. So next is mesh, mesh part, sorry, seed part. Then assign mesh controls. In assign mesh controls, I am going to use that triangular mesh. Then mesh part and assign element type. And I am going to use that initially, initially uh, plane strain triangular element. So here in the mesh module, first seed part and approximate global size is 0.6 so i am going to apply two millimeters apply okay and then here assign mesh control select all that done and then the mesh i am using is triangular triangular mesh and free triangle structure triangular structure triangular okay and then that is mesh so that mesh is, element shape is triangular and then here assign element type select that one and then element type in the family is plane stress plane stress standard linear and that is a three node linear plane stress triangle cps3 initially i am going to select okay so done so mesh part is done next step uh, on the part need to create a set of node type to plot deflection along the lens so once again in the part module and here you have set or you can go into the tool and then you can get set create set so set is i am naming it as neutral axis node type and unsorted set continue and here along edge because i have created partition along neutral axis so along edge and here in the beam add before and then here are it will only select edges so that's neutral axis i am going to select done and it is asking me the direction so the direction here you can start from free end or you can start from that fixed end so i am going to start from uh, free end yes and now you can see that nodes are being selected okay and here you can see that neutral axis node set is being defined to check that i'll go to the mesh and then if I click it on it, so you can see all those nodes along neutral axis, they are selected. Next step is create instance. So here in the assembly module, in the assembly module, create instance. Okay, 
and now you can see that okay create instance okay and you can see that here in the assembly module that instance is being created next step is create step and step type is static journal and i'm going to name it as static load so in step module or here double click on step and it is static load and the type is static journal continue okay that step is being next step is to create load and load type is concentrated force and step as static load so here in the load module or here in the load double click on that load one step is static load concentrated force continue and on this point stack the point for static load done and the static load is in downward vertical direction 1000 okay so that load is being applied to make sure that so that is load applied next step is in the load module create boundary condition and displacement rotation and step as initial so here in the load module that is to create boundary condition or you could then double click here on the boundary condition and step is initial step is initial so let's say i am going to name that boundary condition as fix and type is displacement rotation and select the region for the boundary so i want to apply boundary condition here so done and then because it's a fix so all these three uh, displacement they are restricted so now here you can see but double click on fix you can see that the boundary condition is being created okay so now modeling part is done now the modeling part is done next step is analysis and to create job and <clears throat> the job name i'm going to set as try because of that triangular element type shape then plane stress and then three nodes so the job name is because once again uh, in the mesh module to make sure like here here the mesh controls initially selected they are triangular mesh and then here the mesh type is being selected as linear plane stress triangular three node okay so the name is try ps3 so here the job i am going to name it as try ps triangular shape plane stress three node continue okay then need to perform data check on that so data check it will take some time to check that data check completed now i'm going to submit it okay so it's submitted then start running and then completed after some time so it's completed so analysis part is done so next step is in the results visualization and then common option so here i can open it results from there by clicking the results and now in the results output database is try or otherwise you can file open you can open that from here and then in the visualization so these are the common plot options like you can so that is the stress one mysis you can go for that in vertical direction in horizontal directions mirror these trains so that is in horizontal direction that is in vertical direction and that is a shear strain and then you can go for reaction forces so reactions are only on like that is a reaction force one 
that is the reaction force 2 and it is a magnitude of that then you can concentrated forces so that is only being applied there and then the, the here the deflection or displacement u1 in horizontal direction and u2 in vertical direction so for this case we are looking for displacement in vertical direction so you can apply nodes on that here node labels to show node labels so you can see the nodes along the central neutral axis 171 and then 7 till 35 and then 2 okay and then you can show element labels on that so these are the elements labels you can show on that so next step in the results tool need to create path and then along that path type is node list and then for that plotting so in the results that is u2 and tools here path create path and the path name i am going to uh, name it as try plane stress 3 and from that node list so i have already a node list so here add before and then neutral axis i have okay so now you can see that is the node list okay so let me show node labels there to make sure that whatever we are looking for so it is 1 7 8 7 2 35 and then 2 so that is okay so now uh, a path is being created so in the manager you can see that try ps3 part it is being created so then the next one after creating path you need to create xy data and from odb history output continue so odb field output in odb field output in variable position is unique nodal and i am looking for u2 okay and then elements loads so that one you can try from here but because i have created a path like node labels node set that one so you can plot that but it is going to plot all but i am not interested in that i am interested in creating along that path which i have created so for that one create xy data i'll go to the path continue and here is the path okay and the feed output here is u2 or otherwise you can select it from there okay because it is already there or otherwise you can step and then plot so this is the plot of this is plot here on horizontal axis that is the x distance okay 0 to 60 okay and then on vertical axis is the displacement so i am going to save that as try plane stress 3 node okay so this one is being here in xy data so you can see that tri plane stress is being plotted okay that one so deflection at this port is zero and then at free end it is that is 0.1128 that is 11218 millimeter so that one all done like you got that results and deflection so that all uh, problem is solved for one element type which is cp s3 so plot vertical direction along length of the beam for different so triangular three node for plane stress is done so now the rest of others need to perform so for that the next this is not uh, 
like the part because all that straps which are there we need to repeat that those and in comparison first i am going for triangular shape plain stress and in plain stress three nodes and then six nodes then plain strain three nodes and six nodes for the same part i am now going in the mesh here and element size that will remain same so just element shape that will remain same the triangular so element shape remains same triangular and then just here element type element type previously it was three node linear plane and now element library standard plane stress now quadratic and in quadratic quadratic i am using cps6 a six node quadratic plane stress triangle cps6 i am going to select this one rest of everything is the same so now in the job i'll create a new job which is triangular element then plane stress six nodes So continue and then submit it. Result is completed. File open. That is triangular plane stress six node. Okay, that is there. And then I'll create a path and then plot it. So for this one, here create a path and that is triangular plane stress. Six node from the node list. So nodes here is okay, and that is the node list. So the node list it is showing like these one, but here I can see there is in between one and seven there is another node. It is not being selected. So for that purpose, once again. Uh, go into the part module and then here that neutral axis need to update that neutral axis need to update because this one contain uh, some different nodes so this one this need to delete row and then along edge add before done yes and now you can see that these are the nodes selected. Okay. So now again, I need to run that job and then need. Now once again, in the tool path, create and that is triangular plane stress six nodes from the node list. Add before that one. Okay. And now you can see that. So it is one, three, four, two. You can see here one three four two three four seven uh, then comes seven three four seven eight so that is now the new node list is being selected okay so now that path is being created and here create xy data continue and then here try plane stress six field output and u is required like in u u2 is required apply okay plot it and then it is plotted so save as triangular plane stress six okay so now you can see and then you can plot these two okay so that is triangular plane stress three is the red one and then the blue one is triangular plane stress six. So in the similar way, I am going to uh, do rest of all, but you need to make sure that for each time when you are going to change element, uh, element type. So you need to create update node set. Now for plane strain, so here, I have selected that 
so in the family is plane strain now first the linear plane strain linear and that is cpe3 three node linear plane strain triangular triangle okay and then you need to create a node set for that the job name i'm going to use a triangular plane strain three node tri pe3 that one is here so the results for triangular plane stress three node is being created i have created a path for that now continue and that is triangular pe3 and then here the field output is u u2 apply okay plot and then this is being saved as try plane strain three node so that the third one is also being plotted there the next one is plane strain six node and that is cpe6 a six node quadratic plane strain triangle so that is now being selected so now i'm going to delete that the previous one previous node set and i'm going to create a new set here and a a new node set is being created okay and then i'm going to run job for this which is triangular plane strain six node try pe6 to continue okay a new path is being created so now on that path so that is triangular plane strain six and that is the path and feed output there is u2 okay so that is being plotted and then we save as triangular mesh plane strain six nodes okay and so, and so i can compare those two plots for three nodes and six nodes now triangular shape plane stress with three nodes and six nodes plane strain with three nodes and six nodes is being done so the next one is quadrilateral shape plane stress with four nodes and eight node and then plane strain with four nodes and eight node that is required so once again in the mesh module here you have assigned mesh controls and done and now quadratic quadratic structured okay so now the element type here once again the element type uh, element shape is selected as quadratic structure and then here the mesh done so element library standard family plane stress linear and then you have cps4 four node bilinear plane stress quadrilateral cps4 that is the plane stress quadrilateral okay okay so done and then that is so <clears throat> it is cp cps4 okay so that is done and now i'm going to create another job for this and that is quadratic plane stress four node don't forget to create a node set okay uh, after you change that element type so you need to update or you need to delete the previous one and then create a new one so that is part four node i am going to submit that so now for that one i have created a path okay and then here along that path so that path is being created and the new plot is created so i'm going to save it as quad ps4 okay in the similar way i'm going to draw all like for plane stress eight node and then plane strain four node then eight node now family plane strain and quadratic 
and that is eight node bilinear print threads quadrilateral CPS8. Okay, and delete it and then create a new one. A new job quadratic plane stress, uh, stress 8 node is being created. Okay, and then it is submitted. A new path is being created for that quadratic plane stress 8 node. Okay, now that is a path quad PS quadratic plane stress 8 and U2. So that is being plotted, save as. Okay, and then here you have 4 node and 8 node. Okay, the results of those. The next one, plane strain, linear, and then it is CPE4, a 4 node bilinear plane strain quadrilateral. Okay, so done. A new job quadratic plane strain 4 nodes is being created. Okay, then it is submitted. A new path quadratic plane strain four node is being created and then along that path that is quadratic PE4 and then so plot save as that is being saved. Now the last it is plane strain and then that is eight node by quadratic plane strain quadrilateral okay done the new job for quadratic plane strain eight node is being created okay and then submit the new path for uh, this new job is being created so now path and that is quadratic eight node Field output, change it from here, apply, okay, so plot it and save as, okay, so now you can see that for all those different element shapes and element types, the results are being plotted, like a quadratic plane strain 4 node, quadratic plane strain 8 node, quadratic plane stress 4 node, and then I'm going to prepare the results with each one. So these are the plane stress three and six node. These are plane strain three and six nodes. So there is a slightly difference. Then plane stress and plane strain three node, plane stress and plane strain four nodes. So there is a difference. And then plane strain four and eight node, there's not much difference. Then plane stress four and eight nodes, slightly difference. And then plane stress and plane strain four node yes there is a difference and then so these ones all so you need to compare these results with the analytical results which you got from the theory and then you can find out that which one is a suitable element size which will give you uh, more precise results but remember that here the element size that also matters element size also matters so but here i have used that two millimeters so it can be reduced to uh, depending upon the computation uh, power of your computer so you can decrease it to get more better result So now here is a summary of all that which uh, what is done. So first of all, in the model, so a part is being created, and its name is the name is given as beam. Then a partition is being created about the neutral axis. Then after that, material is created. Once a material is being created, then section is assigned and that is a solid homogeneous steel and then section assigned in here, that is a section assigned. And then after the section assignment, 
in assembly instance is being created so once the instance is being created in assembly the next step is uh, step is being created with a static journal so once step is being created then the load then the load created and that is the load and then the boundary condition created okay but the main one here is the mesh so in the mesh uh, first element type so in the mesh the element type is first element shapes so two shapes of elements they are being used one the quadratic the other one is triangular and then after in element types so two families plane stress and plane strain being used and then the metric order uh, like linear and quadratic that is being used and here are different results from there so these are the results for on horizontal axis is the uh, distance from free edge to fixed edge and on the vertical axis it is a vertical displacement so i hope that you like this video so if you you can leave comment for your feedback and if you want me to record any other video so you can just leave a comment there thank you very much for watching